Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. In this short video, I'm going to explain the difference between gallstones and kidney stones. I get a lot of questions asked of me from my patients, from my students. What are they? What's the difference? And of course, how can I prevent them from occurring? So with gallstones, the gallstones are actually cholesterol stones. Now, it's made by actually having too little bile in the gallbladder. Now, bile made in the liver, stored and concentrated in the gallbladder, and the function of bile is to, when we take in fats, when they get broken down and absorbed in the small intestines, bile is utilized to help break those down. Okay, so then it sends a signal to the pancreas to secrete the hormone lipase, digestive enzyme lipase, again, to help with further breakdown and absorption, especially absorbing vitamins A, D, E, and K. Now, the the reason why we get cholesterol stones is because we have too little bile in the gallbladder and that actually starts to deposit cholesterol. And that's how stones are formed. And the stones are composed of cholesterol, calcium, bilirubinate, and calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate, this is why I highly discourage all my patients or anybody I talk to to avoid calcium carbonate supplement. Read the label if you're going to take calcium. Because again, if you're taking an excess amount of calcium carbonate, you're increasing your chances of gallstones. This is why I always recommend to my patients take a calcium citrate or a calcium chelated. Those are the two best forms of calcium for quick absorption and utilization for the body. Now, there's a big difference in the sexes on who's going to get it. Typically, females will get gallstones due to the fact that they have ex excess amount of estrogen because excess amount of estrogen will cause gallstones. So then how do we prevent it? Very simple, low carb diet. Because when you have a high carb diet, it releases insulin. Now the release of insulin depletes, actually it depletes the bile. So when you increase, decrease the bile, this is where the stones are gonna be formed. Also too, increase your saturated fats. Yes, increase the saturated fats because remember, bile is released to break down fats. So if you're taking in too little fat, you're not actually releasing the bile. So by by lowering your chance of cholesterol stones, you want to increase the saturated fats. Also too, vegetables. Increase the vegetables. Because again, you just want to have, increasing the vegetables, especially the cruciferous vegetables, you want to make the liver healthy. Remember, it's the liver that makes the bile. The gallbladder stores and concentrates it. So if you don't have a healthy liver, you're not producing healthy bile. Also too, supplements. Now, in particular for patients who don't have a gallbladder, Okay, I always recommend bile salts. Now again, if you have a gallbladder, but a sluggish gallbladder, still, you, I still I recommend bile salts to help with the, again, with the breakdown of fats and lower the chances of, salt, of uh, stones forming. Bile salts, very important. You want to, I always recommend, start off with one capsule after meal. Go to two if you can, if you have to. Okay, if you have a big, if you, again, if you have a meal that's loaded with, you know, with carbohydrates, or fats, definitely you want to you want to have some gallbladder support. So again, this is gallstones. So then kidney stones. Kidney stones. Kidney stones. 80% of the kidney stones are, that are made are are from cal are calcium oxalate. About 20% are uric acid, and you'll get uric acid stones typically by if you're following the ketogenic diet because what you're doing it, again it's a high pH. Uric acid stones are formed because you actually have a low pH between one and three. And also, too, this is where gout's formed. Now, the kidney stones are composed of minerals and acid salts. And for the sexes, the males will typically get kidney stones. So the kidney stones, how do you prevent kidney stones from forming? Very simple, increase your water. Okay, you want to increase the water consumption is going to help flush out the kidneys. Also, too, lemon juice. Now, again, if you're more prone for calcium oxalate or uric acid stones, Take it in lemon juice because it has citrate, it actually will lower the chances of the oxalate form, uh, stones forming. Also, you want to avoid foods, uh, avoid foods with a high oxalate content because again, you do not want to make your body too acidic, okay? Because that's, that's where the stones are formed. Vegetables, vegetables is always a must because again, you also you want a clean liver. But the vegetables, it's going to alkaline the body. So you're going to become less acidic, more alkaline, so the chances of forming kidney stones are less. Now supplements, again, I always recommend, this is where I recommend potassium citrate. Because what you're going to do, especially with the uric acid stones, the uric acid stones is a pH issue. So by taking in potassium citrate, you're actually going to raise your pH, lower your chances of the stones being formed. 
So here's the difference between gallstones and kidney stones. Now again, and the symptoms, the symptoms are very similar. Okay, so the symptoms of gallstones and kidney stones are very similar. Now, the, what's tricky about it, because they're asymptomatic until the stones get too large. Now, asymptomatic means without symptoms. So by the time you actually are feeling something, the stones are getting bigger. And you can see the symptoms overlap. You'll get, you may experience pain, pain below the ribs, back pain. Right shoulder pain is typically indicative of gallstones. However, you can, you can still get right shoulder pain with kidney stones. Also, nausea, restlessness, and fever. These, again, you can see the symptoms all overlap each other. So gallstones and kidney stones, they share the very, very similar symptoms, even though, in, in the, even though they're in different locations. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, please share with a friend, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Juwad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos, and thanks for watching.